Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on string and file attributes comparison in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn string comparison and file attributes comparison. We will do this using a few examples. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.1.10. Please note GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. Let us start with an introduction. There are two ways to compare a string in Bash. First, using equal to equal to operator to compare two equal strings and second not equal to operator to compare two not equal strings. Let us look at an example. I have a simple program here that checks the user ID. Open a file in your editor and save it as strcompare.sh now type the code as shown here in your strcompare.sh file. Let me explain the code. This is the shebang line. Who am I command gives the username of the current user. The if statement checks the output of the variable who am I against the string root. We have used not equal to operator here to compare the strings. If the current user is not the root user, then it will echo this statement. You have no permission to run strcompare.sh as non-root user. Here, $0 is the 0th argument which is a file name itself. If the user is the root user, it will echo welcome root. Then we have the exit statement for the program and here with fi we end the if statement. Let us switch back to our slides to know more about the exit statement. Every program returns an exit status. A successful command returns a zero. An erroneous command returns a non-zero value. It can be interpreted as an error code. We can customize return value of the exit statement. Now let's execute the program. Open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. First, let's check the current user of the system. Type who am I? Press Enter. This will output the name of the current user. Now let's make our script executable. Type chmod plus x str compare dot sh. Type dot slash str compare dot sh. The output is displayed as you have no permission to run dot slash str compare dot sh as non root user. Now let's execute the same program as root user. Type sudo dot slash str compare dot sh. It will prompt for an password. Give your password here. The output is displayed as welcome root. Now let's learn about the file attributes comparison. I already have a working example of the code. In this program, we will check whether a given file exists or not. File1 is the variable in which we save the path of the file. Hyphen F command checks whether the file exists or not and whether it is a normal file. If the condition is true, it will echo file exists and is a normal file. Else it will echo file does not exist. Switch back to the terminal. Let us execute our file. Type chmod plus x file attrib dot sh. 
type dot slash file atrib dot sh. The output is displayed as file exists and is a normal file. Now we will check whether the file is empty or not. Before executing our program, I will create an empty file named as empty.sh. Type gedit empty.sh and a ampersand sign. Click on save. Close the file. Let us replace hyphen f attrib with hyphen s attribute. Replace the file name here as well. Type empty.sh. Now replace the first echo statement with file exists and is not empty. And the second echo statement with file is empty. Click on save. Come back to the terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Let us execute. Type dot slash file attrib. Dot sh. Press enter. The output is file is empty. Now let us see another file attribute which will check the right permission of any file. Come back to our program. Let us replace the hyphen s attribute with hyphen w. Now replace the first echo statement with user has write permission to this file. And the second echo statement with user doesn't have write permission to this file. Click on save. I will use a different file for this example. I will select a file which is not a readable file or which does not have write permission. Let me change the file part to slash etc slash mysql slash debian dot cnf. Click on save. Let us execute our program. Press the up arrow key. Press enter. We see that the output is displayed as user doesn't have write permission to this file. Now let us see another example based on file attributes. In this example we will check whether file 1 is newer than file 2. Let us see the program. Note that our file name is fileattrib2.sh. Let us go through the code. Here we have two variables file1 and file2. The two files have already been created and are empty. Here we check whether file1 is newer than file2. If the condition is true, we print file1 is newer than file2. Else file 2 is newer than file 1. This is another if statement. Here we check whether file 1 is older than file 2. If the condition is true, we print file 1 is older than file 2. Else we print file 2 is older than file 1. Come back to our terminal. First, we will edit empty1.sh file. I will just add an echo statement in it. Type echo within double quotes, high after the double quotes, greater than sign empty1.sh. Press enter. Now let us make our script executable. Type chmod plus x file attrib 2.sh. Now type dot slash file attrib 2.sh. We see the output as file 1 is newer than file 2. File 2 is older than file 1. Now let's edit empty2.sh file. Here also I will add an echo statement. Type echo within double quotes how are you after the quotes greater than sign empty2.sh. Let me clear the prompt. Now let us execute our script again. Press the up arrow key. Go to dot slash file attrib 2 dot sh. Press enter. Now the output is displayed as file 2 is newer than file 1 
and file 1 is older than file 2. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt string comparison, file attributes, equal to, equal to, not equal to, hyphen f, hyphen s, hyphen w, hyphen nt, and hyphen ot attributes. As an assignment, explore some more attributes, hyphen r, hyphen x, and hyphen o. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.